Good morning, good morning to you. Hello, great people, God's people, winners. How are you all doing today? Good morning, good morning. My name is Nichelle Womack and I am your life transition strategist. What is that? What do I do? I help you transition from one stage of your life to the next. If you are transitioning from a job to home, like a home-based business, if you're transferring from home to a new job, if you're trans uh, transitioning in relationships from single to married, from married to single, I help you do that. And I help you do that with ease. I uh, help people start businesses, make businesses grow, help them grow, relationships grow. I've been a part of each one of those things that I just mentioned. So on my scopes, we talk about life, real talk conversations, life, business, and then we have fun. You got to have fun in everything you do. So thanks so much for taking time out of your day to join me this Monday morning. As my scope begin, I would like to first start off with um, just stating with you that three perspectives that we need to keep in mind starting off this last part of the quarter of 2015. And literally, if you are not or have not prepared for 2016 right now, you are behind. You are literally behind because in order to start your year off right, because we all make those suggestions that we want to do, but we never finish it. We start off with New Year's resolutions, what we're going to do, what we plan to do. But again, we never finish it. So it's Monday. I'm alive. I'm happy. I'm blessed. I feel great. And it's going to be a great day and a great week because we're going to propel ourselves to plan for 2016. So the first thing that you need to put in perspective in order to launch your 2016 the way you want it to be, the way your family needs it to be, and the way you like for it to be, is put those 31 days in perspective. And when I say 31 days, I'm talking about December 1 to December 31st. And realistically speaking, you really only have 20 days because people start shutting down about December 20th, you know? Start having a good time, get in a festive mood, happy feelings in the air, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all those types of things start clouding people's mind, their focus, and they're not thinking about doing anything else but enjoying and spending time with their family, which they should do. But if you have not started your year off and planned for January first quarter, January, February, March of 2016, then you probably don't need to be in that, that sector. Okay, so those 31 days, I'm going to give you today, half a day, to start putting something down on paper. We know that goals are never attained if they're not written down. We have to make them actionable. By putting them down, we see them. We see that what we need to do. And so writing your goals down from December 1 to December 31st, what you plan to do each day so that you can start January 1, 2016 off on the right foot start doing that today because not only will it help elevate you, you won't have an excuse come January 2nd, the first business day in the new year as to what you're supposed to be doing in order to propel your life, your family's life and your future business, whatever you're going to do. So 31 days of action. I challenge you, put it down. Everything that you plan to do, December 1 through 31st, what you plan to do to not only elevate yourself, your family, your business, your relationship, whatever it is, what are you going to do to elevate it? Written goals are achievable if they're seen, if they're written down, and if you can read it every day. The second thing I like for you to put in perspective is who's on your list. You know, we've had a year of 2015 and I said 2015 is the year that let me know all those people that didn't need to go into 2016 with me. And not to say all of them were bad, but everybody is not on the same page or on the same level. And so whatever level that you're trying to achieve and trying to get there, you need to uh, get rid of those people who did not help you get there or 
Better yet, some of those people may have pushed you there for the simple reason that you're do they're doing things that you did not want to do or that you did not want to be in a party of. And so, um, but still, those people, who's on your list? Who's on your list that you know needs to be on there that motivates you, that gives you that inspiration to say, you can do this. You can move forward. You can be good at what you do. You can be better at what you do. Oh, I believe in you. Who's on your list? We all need great people on our list because great people make us better. And we know better, best, excellent. You know, we all want people on our list that are going to help excel not only our mentality, but our purpose in life as well. And so we don't want negative Nancy or negative uh, Tom on our list because we know that they're not going to do anything to accelerate us. And so in accelerating us, we want to make certain that we put those people on our list that are going to be valuable, value. Who is adding value to your life? If they're not adding value to your life, they don't need to be on your list in 2016. So right now on that 31 day plan from now into December 31st, who's on your list each day? If it's someone that you are learning from, uh, if it's someone um, that you're working with that you can figure out that perhaps maybe you guys would do great in business together uh, to help you excel your career. If you want to get a promotion or something along those lines, who's on your list to help you do that? So that's number two in your perspective, things to put in perspective. And number three. Uh, what are you just sick and tired of? I hear people all the time say, I'm just so sick and tired. How long are you going to be sick and tired? You know, you should get sick and tired of being sick and tired. How long are you going to be sick and tired of being sick and tired? What are you going to do to change that situation? So you can talk about it all day long, but what are you going to do to change it? You know, are you sick and tired of your job? Are you sick and tired of that you're not making money in your business? Are you sick and tired of your relationship being stagnant and not progressing? Look in the mirror. What are you going to do to change the situation? Things won't change if you don't activate change. Change starts with you. OK, so that's the third thing. And I want to just give you a little bonus here. If not now, when? People say next year or the year after that, the next month and things of that nature. You got to do it now because if you don't do it now, it's not going to change tomorrow. And so those three things to put in perspective, your 31 day list starting today, planning for December 1 through December 31st. What are you going to do each day that you can propel your life, your situation in 2006 in that first quarter? What are you going to do each day that you can make differences in not only your life, but your family's life, in your career, in your business, in your relationship? What are you going to do? It starts with you. It starts with you. It starts with me. What are you going to do to make it better? Number two, the second thing, who's on your list? If they're not helping you get better, get rid of them. We have to stop holding on to luggage that's pulling us down, that's not opening up and giving us the things that we so desire in our life. And as you can see, life does not stand still. Time does not stand still. It will pass you up. It will pass you up. And so if you want to get to that next level and we all want something more than what we have, if people tell you that they don't want any more, they're just satisfied, run, run, because the word of God does not even say that we should all be seeking to be greater and better. We should all be seeking to be greater and better. And so if you're seeking to be greater and better, who's on your list is very important. You need someone that has spiritual discernment on your list. You need someone that's going to motivate you when you're down because in life, you're going to get down in business relationships. You're going to get down and you need that person to uplift you, to help you get to that next level. So who's on your list? The third thing that we need to be aware of is stop being so sick and tired. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, do something about being sick and tired of being sick and tired. It all is on your shoulders. But again, that support system, who's on your list, that plan, that 31 day plan, all those things put into action will help you stop being sick and tired of being sick and tired. And then that last thing that I wanted to share, the extra bonus, if not now, when? Stop making excuses. Excuses are tools of incompetence used as monuments of nothingness. And so if you continue to use them, you will find that you will continue to have the same results. What's that saying? Um, insanity, doing the same thing over and over, getting the same results. And so if you want change, be the change factor. 
Be that game changer. Be the one that makes the change in your life, in the lives of others to see things happen. It can happen. I believe in you. I believe in myself. We all can fly and we all can fly and accelerate to a higher level. But we got to start somewhere and it starts with you. It starts with you. Any questions about anything that I share with you about those three perspectives? Again, it's Monday. Start your day off right with a bang. Make certain that you do something every second, every hour, that you're constantly improving yourself to get better and those around you. And you will find yourself, your family, your situation, things change in the first quarter of 2006 if you plan now and execute and be prepared and ready for the change that's going to take place. Thanks again for joining in. I appreciate your time. God bless you. Replay viewers, I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate your hearts. And may God continue to bless you and anoint you. And have a fabulous rest of the day. Bye-bye.